Good morning. So, let's see where we were last time. We were working on Goal Monitor. Um, we have an add goal, um, which works. Um, but what I did notice while doing some minor cleanups of my build env and so on, and testing so we haven't got to doing the cancel button yet um, and it's trying to submit to the same time which so that's two little problems there because um, it's trying to do the same as a save so we need to implement the cancel basically we haven't touched it yet um, so I think we need to um, make it pop back to the last um, last page, basically, because in most cases, we're just going to want to go back to the goals page here, which is where we're going to come from. Not sure where else we would come from, but we'll just do a back rather than a like direct to the goals. So let's uh, Get the ID open. <clears throat> okay. So let's have a look at the add goal component. Um, and sure enough, we've got nothing on the button for cancel and nothing on the button for primary because we're using the on submit handler in the form. Um, so that might be an issue actually. Okay, well, the first thing we want to do is um, let's do a pop in the uh, spelt spa router which is what i'm using for routing um, and we will do an on click uh, which is just going to take the um, asynchronous pop but because of that um so yeah okay so the button at the moment doesn't have an override on on click so it probably doesn't matter what you do um, in the on click in the button component it's always going to try and actually do an on click here within the component probably um but either way what we're going to do is we're just going to forward that on click up to the component user. Um, so that means that will, in theory, do its job. Except it's a but it's the first button in the form, so that's going to cause an issue. So I'll, I'll just double check that I'm right on that. But I think what's going to happen is. Um, It might try the um, the pop back to the previous page, but it might also trigger this on submit handler. That'd be weird. So we might have to do something about that. Okay, go in here, do a cancel. Yeah, okay. So it's definitely tried to do something there. That little uh, required field thing. I wonder what happens if you try and hit return. Yeah, okay. That's definitely doing a submit. But it is doing the uh, the back as well, though. Okay, so we need to deal with that. So...
one 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 way to deal with that is just not use a form but I do like being able to use standard form functionality um, especially just being able to use hit hit enter return whatever you call it um, to submit a form that's complete um, so we need to tell it to use the second button. Another strategy would be to rearrange the buttons in the HTML and then with CSS move them back. But that's a little bit janky. I wonder if we could do type submit on the button and whether that would override. It probably would. Uh, so let's do export that type equal, um, well, button by default. Because we don't really want it to be a surprise that it doesn't act like a normal button. Um, and then we'll do, then we'll pass that type into the button. So in theory, I can then do, oh, Type equals submit. We'll see if that works. Yeah, I think that'll work. I think it will pass through the type to the button component element rather. And it deploys. It's compiled, okay. Refresh. So if I hit cancel, it didn't do the submit. If I hit return, it tries to submit. And if I hit save, it tries to submit. It worked. Okay. <laughs> I shouldn't, shouldn't act surprised, should I? Um, so let's try this then. So, um, way, uh, six, eight, copy by, oh. Into June would be good. And first measurement. Uh, what was my measurement? Oh yeah, I've really put on some weight. One eight five eight four, I think. And that was taken yesterday. Yes, I've put on some weight because I haven't got a goal monitor um, or Easter and lockdown, things like that. Um, right. So, ah, okay. Oh, that's another thing I've got to fix. I've got to fix that um, numeric input so that it allows decimal points. Right. Let's be generous. 185. Uh, I hit save. Okay. That worked. It's good, but but I've now changed. 
button. Hmm. So am I using the button? Hey. Thank you. Change password. And that's in a form. Oh, I bet that doesn't work. I bet I've broken that now. And login. And the reset password. It's my heater come on. The noise. A little bit cold this morning. Okay, right. In that case, I th well, let's just double check that. If I uh, log out and log in, it's not trying anything. Yep, can't log in again. All right. That's not ideal. Okay, so there's two ways around that. I can either go through each of those components and change the button to use the same syntax as add, passing the type. Actually, there's three ways I could do it. Or I could set the type to submit by default, which is not great. Don't want to do that. Or maybe, so in most cases, when you have a primary button, you want that to be the, the action that takes effect when you submit a form, whether that's through enter or, you know, it's the first one to be highlighted. Um, so if the button is primary, let's by default make it a submit. Would that work? Yeah, yeah, that'll work. So So that's, that's pretty easy actually. Primary. Submit. Otherwise, button. And then you can override that anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so if it's a primary button, the default type is submit. So if we don't supply a type, it's submit. And if it's not a primary, it's a button. Okay, well, that means I don't need that either. So primary, but yeah, okay. Give it a whirl. Five two deploy. Okay, uh, let me refresh that. If I try and Hey, it tried. That worked. That's trying to submit. Hit cancel, still works. 
Um, base one. End of November. First measurement, none. Today. So in theory, I can just hit return. Well, I should be able to hit return even there. if there's a day input doesn't like it well, it's worth that goals done I think there's no gotchas there is there I suppose I could try the uh, change password stuff look at this uh I forgot one password. Oh no. Uh, send reset. Okay. Just check my phone because uh, I don't want to show my. Uh, email okay good job that's fine okay but I'm not actually going to reset so we'll just use the login that's fine uh, I'll just assume that the reset password works for the time being. I'll test that when I can uh, grab the URLs and stuff. Um, I don't have a second monitor at the moment, so I'd have to like blank the screen and things. Right, uh, okay, we're done. Uh, that was quick. It's not what I expected. <laughs> I know it's only just like a cancel button, but um, I did really, I did notice that it was doing weird things on submit. So, okay, let's commit that. Let's um, roll. Cancel button. No. So, one thing that I noticed is a bit weird is that I've been using like a wrapper div such as this edit goal, but I'm not actually. I'm not styling it, I'm not using it at all. Um, I don't think I need it. It's just kind of just extra HTML I don't need at the moment. So I think I'll just take it out. Of, um, this component. Before I start working on the uh, edit goal and then delete goal uh, and then start working on measurements for adding measurements and so on and then finally get into the actual meter there 
the app, which is shown a graph. So you get like a visual representation of how well you're doing on your goal. So let's do a little bit of uh, quick busy work before I uh, start the day job. Um, we're in a client, let's do... Button is a button. I don't think we need. Don't need that. One less div to worry about. Data inputs good. Form itself is just a form. A goal. does use the measurements to get a grid, so that's fine. Go input. There's no wrapper. Goals is used to set the container, so that's fine. Goals item. That's just, yeah, that's fine. That's the base for the big squares. No extra dip there. That's your base logged in page component. Okay, login doesn't need an extra div there, does it? Nope. Less HTML. Yeah, I need that for hoisting the component up. Come back to that one because I might not need to do that. Oh, unless. Oh, I might do, yes. So when I'm ripping through the goals, goals, I uh, know oh that's the wrong one. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely need, definitely need a container because I'm using a grid and I want to group them. So yeah. So they, yeah, otherwise they'll become individual, individual cells in the grid effectively, um, which I don't want. I want a simple grid. Oh, 
Hold on a second. Hmm, maybe not actually. Hmm, did we come back to that one? Might be able to get rid of those divs. But they're not doing much harm actually in that one. They do make it easier to understand what's going on. Although, am I hoisting that one? I am. Hmm. Okay. Uh, right. I might be using that. Yeah, I thought so. And then nav. It's fine. We'll leave that. Spin that. Nav has its own. It's definitely used. Page is a page. Let's see if I've got the wrong login. It's going to go the wrong class. But that's definitely not in use. That's what took me off originally. That was redundant was um in the ad goal I had it as edit goal still that's gone now come all right let's have a quick look see whether we've got rid of a bunch of redundant html tags which is nice spin let's make sure we've got um yeah. that's good that's fine still doing the same thing but log out log in still got a form give it a refresh looks good That's fine. Does its thing. Doesn't do anything yet because we've got no measurements. But the one, I think we're good. Just, just a little clean up there. Just wanted to make sure we weren't wasting stuff. Hey, all right, what's the time? I could probably, uh... so I don't think I've quite got enough time to move on to the next, next thing to do. Um, I've got a couple of things to sort out for work, so. I will um I will say uh I yeah. Yeah, well that's quite good. Um so we implemented the cancel button, um improved the, the button component 
and removed a bunch of redundant HTML tags, wrappers. Not bad for half an hour, that's all right. Cool, all right, well, um, until next time, uh, take care.